here and let me show y'all how we're gonna clean these oxtails oh yeah they might look clean but they're not let's get started the two ingredients you're gonna need to clean your oxtails is vinegar and a lime and cool water you want to use cool water so you don't do cross contamination okay my lime my vinegar I'm gonna use more than one lime let's get started cleaning these oxtails get that vinegar in there with that cool water and start circulating it around and all that blood is going to start to come out it's in your vinegar water you want to take your lime and begin to scrub you want to scrub this really good all over get in there you'll begin to see it change you want to get all of that residue off of there that's how you're going to start it off and we're going to clean these this is what your water should look like when you really clean them. The second set of water is still not clean. This is what your water should look like when they're done. Honey, they clean. Mm -hmm. Cleaned oxtail. Once we clean these oxtails, they're clean. Now we're going to season and marinate them. I use browning seasoning. I use onion powder, garlic powder, minced onions. I use um, uh, garlic, I use Mama Tea's Everything Green, I use some ground mustard, seasoned salt, smoked paprika, I put bell peppers and onions all through here. So let me show you how it's done. I'm going to start with a little seasoning salt, onion powder, garlic powder. Everything green, minced onions, a little curry, a little dry mustard, a little browning sauce, bell peppers, and onions. Mix it well. And this is what your oxtails will look like after they've been marinated or before you put them in the refrigerator to marinate them. Okay, let's refrigerate them for 24 hours. Once your oxtails cook down real low like this, look at that spoon. You see that grease? You got to take them out of this, put them in the refrigerator so you can use your flavoring in here. And so that you can separate the grease from the good stuff before you make your gravy. Time to make the oxtail gravy. You had to leave this in the refrigerator or the freezer. I did mine overnight because you have to have all that fat become a solid so that your gravy don't become greasy and this is from the oxtails once you begin to lift the fat you will see the difference between the fat that's on the oxtail and what you're really going to use for your gravy all of this goes in the trash okay let's finish this is the part you want in the land of the living the goodness okay now let's make some gravy when you get it in the skillet add you some beef broth just like that. Once it gets going, you want to add you some butter beans. Butter beans help thicken your gravy. I take some of my butter beans and I mash them up and I just kind of let them fold off into the gravy. Now I begin to add your oxtails into the gravy and begin to let it boil and come together. You like this. That's, now that's what you call an oxtail. I don't know who you tell. It's the bubble for me. And these are your oxtails. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Thank you for watching. Mama's Comfort Cooking. Tracy K. Mitchell.